Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm just going to be opening my first ever graded card. Now I'm not exactly sure which of these parcels it is. It could be this one or it could be this one. I mean, it's 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 probably this one because they've probably made sure it's packaged really well, but uh, I'm not entirely sure. But before we get into it, either way, we have a couple more individual card parcels to 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 crack open first so let's just get straight into these okay so these are mostly um Yu-Gi-Oh things jesus h christ that's some that's some strong adhesive on there oh god i think this is the ddd XC's Pendulum Monster. Oh. Oh, no. It's, uh, oh, yes, it is. And it's actually some new Vel cards as well. Okay, that's cool. Because um, as a big early Yu-Gi-Oh enthusiast, I was definitely interested in the Hungry Burger archetype, as ri ridiculous as it is. And a secret rare Albion the Branded Dragon as well. That's really nice. I'm also quite a fan of Albaz things, but I haven't rarity bumped um, all of the structure deck fusions yet, so that is very much appreciated. And this was what we actually bought, which we already got a great deal on. So, a little bit of background to me. I love to penny pinch, but no time will I do that more than when I could have gotten something cheaper in the first place. When this card first came out, it was about 350 and I didn't buy them straight away. Then DDD actually became good because of it for a short period of time. And the card went up, so I refused to buy it. Uh, it's now sitting more around the kind of 5 to 7 range, I think, on eBay. But I managed to pick this up for 350 on bid. There we go. More text than your average card, isn't there? So that's really cool. So I already got a pretty good deal on this. I already saved a couple of pounds on this. But we also got the Mega Pack Albion the Branded Dragon Secret Rare, which is really nice. And a random Nouvel Super Rare. I'm sure this wouldn't have been hard to come across uh, anyway. But, you know, it definitely does not go unappreciated. Uh, I think this is my order from Tier Zero Games, um, which I am just going to be honest right up, up front. I am very impressed with their, um, their prices, etc. And this, yeah, this is a Guardian Chimera I picked up. I, 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 I thought of a, a tenuous, I really like this card, and I thought of a tenuous way I could possibly play it. Chucked some in my watch box on eBay. Someone sent me an offer of £10, so I just took it. These were like 12 on eBay, so it probably would have been, a, you know, the best offer I got sent. We are two for two so far on people not taping the top loaders. Let's see if we can make it three for three. As we go over to this one from Tier Zero Games, this is a website I came across recently while trying to find a Clockwork Knight for a cheaper price. And as it turns out, they have some really good prices. They have some really bad prices as well. Um, we Okay, they've got Tier Zero stickers, which are actually quite nice, that go over the top loader. So that's pretty cool. So Clockwork Knight, rather than paying like £10, which they were on on ebay i picked up two for seven each so you know i'm very happy with that that's about six pounds saved uh this is going to be going in my ancient gear deck as possibly is this um i'm going to start running a, a a single copy of um i'm going to start leaning into the polymerization search of ultimate pound and taking a copy of this it might not work it might not last long but you know we'll we'll see any any tenuous excuse to get guardian chimera in a deck and i also came across these ice jade gamir agerines for four pound now these are like seven or eight on ebay uh they're a little bit cheaper on card market but i already ordered some on card market i ordered two on card market for about six pound fifty each and then found this. So obviously I was a little bit annoyed that I just ordered them a couple of days earlier. But either way at least we've got them. And uh, yeah I ordered myself a third Adrian. Purely because first of all I can get a little bit petty when I find a deal better than the one I've already had. Uh, but second of all you know it completes the playset. But also 
it means that um you know if she can continues to go up in price i could even maybe sell one now these stickers really do not rip particularly well so i'm gonna have to uh gonna have to cut into that so the last thing i got in this order was um two copies of ice jade ran adrian again these are like 450 i think on ebay now probably a little bit cheaper on card market but then you have to faff around with different sellers and postage all that kind of thing so ultimately i thought you know what we'll just get it while we're ordering this stuff so we got the two clockwork knights seven pounds each ice jade gamir adrian for four pounds and two ran adrian for three pound Again, to complete the playset, I do already have a copy of this. This looks, These look very bright. They're maybe American print or something. I don't know. Is American print still bright? So that's everything that we got from those parcels. And now we will find out which of these two has our graded card in it. So as I say, I'm pretty confident it's not this one. But uh, yeah, I mean, this does. it does look like it would be an appropriate packaging for a graded card although you know people possibly want to package it better i i certainly don't know what could be in either of these parcels of things that i've ordered apart from um you know the graded card so yeah you know one of these parcels has cards in it one of them has a graded card in it oh okay i think that's it I, I think that is the graded card in there. So what we'll do is I'll quickly open this little box and find out what's in here as well because I honestly, honestly don't know. I've forgotten whatever this is. Unless it is the other Ice Jade uh, Adrians from Card Market massively kind of overpackaged. Oh. That's actually the action. That's This is actually an action figure I was uh, looking for. Which means that this other one, this one, must be another action figure that I ordered. That must have come really, really quickly. Okay, so let's get into the graded card. This is a fascinating way to package it. It's like two, two envelopes back to back with the adhesive pulled over on the other envelope. very interesting way to secure it so with this card again i should have bought this when they were originally came out uh, it's a darkness of blaze pre-release promo for my kangaskhan collection here's the little kangaskhan teddy from on my de uh, on my desk she's actually my favorite pokemon i'll never complete the complete kangaskhan collection because of the uh, parent and child promo in japan i will never own that i can complete the english collection anyway and I really should have bought this on release when they were like four or five pounds. Uh, the next time I looked, they'd spiked to about 17. And then after I brought it up the other day, this is a few years ago, but after I bought this up the other day, I came across this graded one on eBay for 25 pounds. So I put it in my watch box to remind me for later. And they sent me an offer of 20 pounds on this Darkness of Blaze pre-release Kangaskhan PSA 9 graded card. And honestly, I was really mad at myself because not only is the artwork for this card in the main set not great, but I honestly think this is one of, if not the best Kangaskhan artworks in the game altogether. Uh, there was no other, there was no other, um, no other copies of this promo on eBay at the time. Except for this, but on Troll and Toad, the promo itself was currently on for $31.99. So £20 for the pro graded promo, I am more than happy with. And there we go, that's my first ever graded card of any kind, Pokemon or otherwise. So we got the Kangaskhan graded pre-release promo. Deus Machinex, Albion, Meat Recipe. Guardian Chimera, two Ran Adrian, Gamir Adrian, and some Clockwork Knights. Very, very cool. And just as a little pickup piece as well, I also recently got a Clod Sire EX. 
The hollow foil on this is absolutely gorgeous. My brother got this from a Paldia Evolved ETB. And, uh, you know, from the second they announced Claude Sayer, I was absolutely in love with the thing. So I was really happy to, to, to get this. And, yeah, that's... Um, that's everything for this mail opening. So if you've enjoyed this, please do like, comment and subscribe and check out the mail opening playlist. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.